Welcome back to my channel. I wanted to give you an update. Uh, I'm in the process of painting my beautiful egg carton roses. Oh, look how pretty they are. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm doing this from my bed because my back is on heat. I'm in such pain today. Woke up with a horrific migraine. Just trying to keep down lunch. But anyway, art relaxes me and I'm waiting for my Excedrin migraine to kick in. Anyway, I uh, wanted to show you these uh, in case you wanted to make them yourself. Um, you got the first video on how to make the egg carton roses, and now I'm going to show you how to paint them so that they last a very long time. All right, so I used some um, gesso. Let me just put these down here a second. I used this gesso uh, to paint these roses, uh, and I ended up making, <laughs> I know this might be overkill, but they were so pretty on my desk, and I have, uh, when, I, when I buy flowers, or sometimes the stores just give them to me for free, um, if they are found on the floor, if they have very little blooms on them, but I wanted to finish this project. I could not find any wire, and I didn't want to go out and get any. Uh, it's just a pain, but I found these in my stash. I, I take off the blooms. I put, like, colors in, you know, my stash, and then I save these, and I'm so glad that I did. So these roses are kind of heavy, so what I'm going to be doing is probably, well, if you can see here, uh, there's there's nine per bunch here per bundle so there's going to be 18 roses um, and of course you get six per dozen and <laughs> six per dozen six per dozen pack of eggs so I use three egg cartons so the first phase is to paint with gesso gesso is just basically acrylic paint um, watered down glue and then it makes it nice and stiff and the reason I have glue on uh, the reason I have gloves on one hand is because you know obviously wet paint learning my lesson there okay so then I painted it with um, I am in the process of painting it pink a pink wash actually and uh, just to get down into the little crevices and of course it will make it a little bit flimsy because you're watering down the hardened roses and then uh, I'm going to go ahead and use some color shift paint uh, for the edges so the third and final coat will be just a touch of this pink and I'm using what is this pink chiffon here just cheap paint. The color shift was, uh, this is full cart, color shift paint was a little bit pricey, but it's so pretty. I don't know, it says metallic. Sorry about the focus here. I'm trying to get the name of it exactly. But it is very, very pretty, and I'm going to put those on the edges of these roses. So, let me go ahead and I can't do this from bed while I'm online here. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and paint this with this very watered-down mess here. And um, I will put up another video and show you the final product.